Hello there and welcome back to another episode. I'm Sandra. I saw this clip. It's actually a trailer for Amazon's, I guess, new cartoon series that they're doing. So just a quick rundown and then I'm going to let you guys take a look and then judge for yourself. All right. So basically, this is a cartoon series. It's called, I think it's um, Has Been Hotel or something. So it, it tells their version of the story of, 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 you know, the fall, right? Sin. I'm talking about Genesis 3. And the way it, it tells the story is that it actually changed the whole premise of the story. It changes the core message of that story, making Satan the victim. And then we get introduced to this new character who I guess is supposed to be Eve, but her name is Le Letha, I think. I, I cannot, I don't need, like, okay, you know what? Take a look, all right, and see how crazy our world is becoming. It's changing right in front of our eyes. And when I saw it, I was like, you know what? There goes another one. That is definitely a, a subscription that I'm never, ever renewing, okay? And I think it's high time that we actually put our money where our mouth is. If you believe in something, and don't get me wrong, these um, companies, they have the right. They're private companies. They can do whatever they want. That is absolutely their prerogative. But mind you, it is one thing to invent a story for entertainment. It is another th thing to take the Bible and just kind of venerate devil and tell the story, essentially glorifying the devil, right? Um, forming him into um, a victim and... What you're doing is that you're deceiving generations of youth. We're going to watch that show and have a distorted version of the Bible. And I think that is so sickening. If you think about the damage it's going to do, choice is yours. It's your money. You can decide what you want to do with your money. Um, and so for me, it was like definitely the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm done talking about this right now. I'm going to let you guys watch it. And then leave your comments in the comment section, okay? I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light, angels that worshipped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven, for they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth, they created Adam and Lilith, equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Adam demanded control and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity, only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream, but Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs, and as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision that every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the princess of hell. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. Mm -hmm.